Hi, and welcome to another video. Today, it's gonna to be a really quick look at how I UV cylindrical objects inside of Maya. It's something I've been doing increasingly recently with things like wires or shoelaces. And um, this is a really handy technique. I learned from someone, I can't remember who it was, otherwise I'd give them credit. Um, but yeah, it's really handy. Often when you're UVing stuff, then you might just automatic UV and start stitching pieces together. But especially with cylindrical objects, then that can get really messy really quick. So I'm gonna show a very quick and very easy method to get it done. We've got two objects here, one that's simulating a wire and one that's simulating some sort of like shoelace sort of thing. So I've already got this one done, as you can see from the UV checker that I've applied, it's very neatly UV'd, everything's working there. So let's do exactly the same process that I did with this to do this one. So I'm gonna open up my UV editor and UV toolkit. This UV toolkit is new to, I think, 2017, 2018. Um, it used to be the Nightshade plugin. So if you're working with an older version of Maya, then you can download that. I think it's Nightshade. Um, and I'll try and put a link in the description. Cool, so what I'm gonna do is this object, as you can see, has got no UVs at the moment. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Modify, Unitize. So what is Unitize? Unitize basically takes every single face of the object, all of these ones, and it gives it UVs from zero to one. So it just fills this. So if I now select this UV square, you'll see it's selecting every single face and every single vert of my object because all of those UVs are now packed on exactly the same space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then select the edges of this object. So I'm gonna select all that. Now you can see every single edge of this object is selected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move and sew all these edges together. But if I were to do this like now, if I just move and sew that, you can see I'm gonna get errors because because I need to select a seam that isn't gonna move and sew. That might not make sense now, but when you see me do it, hopefully it will. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the underside face, one that goes along the whole object. I'm gonna press control and I'm gonna double click that. And now we've got this one line here and this is gonna be basically our cut in the UV so that it unfolds nicely. So then I'm just gonna hold shift and right click and I'm gonna to go to move and sew edges. And now I don't get that error anymore. So what you can see now is we've got perfectly uniform UVs because we went from all these square UVs and we've just sewn them together, but we've given it a cut down this edge. Now, if I apply that UV checker, I'm just gonna assign blend two, which is it. You'll see that it's not great. All I need to do now is I'm just gonna select all these UVs. I'm gonna optimize them and hopefully so now I'm just gonna lay it out. I'm gonna select all those UVs. I'm gonna go to modify it layout. That's gonna plop it into the zero one to one space. And I'm just gonna straighten those. And now, fingers crossed, and that's working on a small screen here. So I'm just gonna move that away. And you can see we have these UVs that run along this object, but also aren't distorted. So another thing I like to do with this, because obviously your UV scale will be set by the rest of the scene. But so this at the moment, if I wanted to make those UVs bigger for texturing, then what I would do is I would just split it down the middle. So to find the middle of this when it's been laid out, usually if you select it, you just find where the pivot point is. And then I'll just cut one of these edges that was closest to the pivot. So I'm just gonna do this one and cut that. That was shift right click. And then now if I select this shell, move that down, then I can now double the UV space on these by scaling them up a bit too much. And there we have it. Nice UVs on a cylinder very quickly. So just to demonstrate the uh, another way to do this, which would be an absolute pain, is if I were to automatic unwrap this. So if I just go to UVs, automatic, this is gonna be a nightmare to sew all of these together and make sure that they're not distorted and that they sit nicely. Whereas very quickly there, I've got these two straight pieces of UVs that will be perfect to put textures on. And as well, if I don't like these and I can sit here and I can optimize this better um, and I can play with this, but for now, if they look right in the UV checker, then that's all that matters really. Uh, one other thing to keep an eye on is the caps on the end. So this geo didn't have a cap on it, which is why I could just select that whole edge, but this one did, it had caps on the end. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna start again just to show how I do this. So I'm gonna, uh, let's select all those UVs and delete them. I'm gonna go UV, delete, and then let's just do this again. I'm gonna to go to modify, unitize, select, and you'll see this time we've got this down here. We're gonna select all these edges, but if I control select these ones, then you'll see I no longer get these face, faces selected, and I'm just gonna select one of the edges to be the cut. So this one along the back, 
And now if I move and sew that, we have these caps still connected, which is great. And I can just shift right click, optimize that or unfold as well. And there you have it. I can scale those down. So I hope that made sense. That was just my really quick way of creating UVs for cylindrical objects like shoelaces, wires, cables, anything like that. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below. Hopefully this answered your questions. I hope I explained it thoroughly. If not, do apologize. Please send your questions my way. Um, yeah, and check the YouTube channel out for other 3D modeling, texturing bits. Uh, I'm Michael Wilde, as always, take it easy. Best of luck with everything you're doing in 3D. Cheers.